Alexei Ramansky is one of the most sought after choreographers in the entire world right now. What he is really amazing at doing is telling stories. We were very lucky to have him create a Romeo and Juliet here. I feel like the thing that makes him that special is that he combines classical vocabulary in such a different way that it makes it look very new and contemporary. I love this production of Romeo, designed by Richard Hudson. The sets and costumes are truly influenced by these sort of Renaissance paintings and the aesthetics of that time. It's bold and has a beautiful dark red that you see a lot in Verona. And Richard Hudson is incredibly creative by, at the same time, staying very, very accurate to history. When the design of a production is good, it not only helps the performers, but also helps the audience to follow the story. I think what people should watch for watching Romeo is, of course, the romance and the drama. Uh, Alexei portrays those two things very well. He tells the story incredibly beautifully, only through movement and through dance. And also, I really love that, to me, Alexei portrays Juliet as a very strong, independent woman. He doesn't portray her as a foolish girl. He's actually kind of portraying her like she's the one leading the relationship and she's also the one who's most confident. Uh, Romeo is kind of a hopeless romantic that falls along with her, but I think it's sort of a beautiful testament to the strength of Juliet and of, of this young girl. The role of Romeo is difficult. It's like Alexei created this thing that is so hard to dance, but it's so fulfilling. As a person, Romeo is hopelessly, obviously, hopelessly romantic. He's impulsive, selfish, foolish, but that's what love, sort of all wrapped into a little bubble, makes for young love. In ballet, the best moments are usually pas de deux. You really can dive into this thing that you can't express with words. You can dive into this sort of intimacy and this thing of, of physical beauty and sensuality that you can't access when you've got text. And that's why I think the romance in something like Romeo and Juliet becomes kind of alive.